Thanks, Todd. Uh, Patrick, I guess before you begin your new chapter of your career, just your thoughts on being a Winnipeg Jet. And second part to that, is there a specific highlight for you that uh, is the most fun, whether it was the five-goal game, whether it was taking your team back to Finland or your last game, uh, just kind of what comes to mind for you today? Yeah. Um, well, obviously, uh, you know, drafted by by Winnipeg and spent uh, – just over four years here. Um, I think it was a great, great place to play hockey. You know, everybody knows how passionate the fans are and uh, how build, how uh, how loud the building gets. Um, so it was, it was, it was an awesome place to play hockey. And uh, probably, I would still say my first first game. I think that's uh, that's something I'll never forget. Um, you know, playing that in front of a home crowd, in front of my family. Uh, I mean, that was, that was pretty special. And just to follow up, if I can, uh, obviously there was talk and speculation since the season began. What was it like when you finally found out today that uh, the deal was done? Appreciate it. Um, I think it was just shock. Um, you know, you, you never know what to expect. You know, there's always, always rumors going around the league and, now, finally, when they let me know earlier today, it was kind of kind of shock and didn't know what to do. But um, just you know, gonna say hi to everybody and say goodbyes. And but I'll uh, I'll see them in the corners next year and uh, hopefully hopefully in the playoffs. Next, we'll go to Aaron Portsline with the Columbus Dispatch. Go ahead, Porty. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Patrick. Welcome to Columbus. Uh, what are your What are your thoughts on the new chapter? I mean, it, it it's always a shock to to get moved. When you think of the Blue Jackets, how do you think you might fit in here, and who are you looking forward to to uh, playing with or getting to know? Um, well, yeah, thank you. It's uh, well, it's awesome to be uh, be part of the Blue Jackets uh, organization right now, and uh, happy happy that they wanted me on board, and uh, I couldn't be couldn't be more excited it's uh you know always always a new chapter and kind of you know going to a new place meeting new guys it's um kind of kind of scared but uh it'll, it'll be it'll be fine uh there's a bunch of guys a bunch of guys i know and uh, a couple of finnish guys too and uh just uh just super excited to meet everybody and uh get uh, get things going do you have a sense yet patrick what your time frame is and how long it will take you to be able to get here with the visa with the COVID and such. Do you have a time frame yet? Uh, no idea. I think just gonna let me know how the, how the visa things work, works out. And, uh, but for now I'm just, you know, packing, packing my stuff and, uh, just be, be ready to go whenever, uh, whenever they're ready. Next we'll go to Mike McIntyre at the Winnipeg free press. Go ahead, Mike. Hi, Patrick. Um, a lot of Jets fans are going to naturally wonder why couldn't it have worked out here? Why not finish your career with the team you started it with? Uh, I just like to know, you know, your thoughts on, on maybe where it didn't work out uh, and why uh, a trade ultimately happened here four and a half years into your career. Well, yeah, I think that's a, that's a tough one. Um, you know, um, it's it's a tough question. Like, I got I don't really know. Like right now, um, I don't I don't even want to like think about it. It's just you know, kind of kind of leave it behind me and take all the all the great memories I had with uh, with this team and my teammates with me and uh, move on. But I think there was just um, I don't think maybe it wasn't wasn't a right fit right fit for me and for the team. You know, they have a lot of a lot of depth and. Uh, a lot of a lot of great players, so I think I think it was just um, the team's time and my time to move on. And uh, you know, they well, they got a hell of a hell of a player in, in return too, which uh, you know he he'll be he'll be a good player for the Jets. But uh, I think it was just time time for us to move on. Next, we'll go to Brian Hedger from the Columbus Dispatch. Go ahead, Hedge. Yeah, speaking of Pierre Luc Dubois, you guys were drafted, uh, you know, two, three in the same year. There, did you guys, uh, did you guys have, you know, a rela friendship relationship? Do you guys know any? Did you meet each other at the draft or anything like that? Have you talked? Um, honestly, not too much. Like we were uh, 
just that bef- uh, like after the combine we went to the Stanley Cup finals in San Jose so um, spent a little bit of time over there and uh, obviously a bunch of a bunch of media stuff at, at the draft but uh, seem, seems like a good guy um, the, the little time I spend with him uh, funny funny guy really good player um, so it's uh, you know they'll the Jets will have a have a good good player for uh, you know hopefully a long time. Next, we'll go to Tom Galitti at NHL.com. Go ahead, Tom. Hi, Patrick. I know you just got traded today, but Yarmo talked a little bit about wanting to you know establish a long term relationship with you. How open are, are you to that? And does your maybe a little bit of a relationship with with Yarmo maybe help some coming in into into Columbus? Um. Well, yeah. Obviously, he uh, you know he was excited to. Uh, you know, to get me on board and trade a trade a big time player like Dupuis for for me. So that's obviously obviously a big thing for me that um, that that uh, team team wants me and wants me bad. Um, so that was that was obviously a great thing for me. Um, and you know, I'm 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 open for sure. I I mean. Hopefully, hopefully that's going to be a spot where, uh, you know, I'm enjoying life, enjoying playing hockey and uh, everything I've heard about the organization, the city, it's, uh, it's only, only positive things. And, you know, they have a good, uh, good young team and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can bring, uh, bring my kind of playmaking abilities and my, my shooting abilities into the team and work, work as hard as I can and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully build something good. Next, we'll go to Carter Brooks. Go ahead, Carter. Hey, Patrick. Congratulations on the new destination here for you. Uh, last time I spoke to you last week, I asked you about Nick Ehlers and uh, a little bit about your fighting, and you told me that uh, he's a pigeon not to listen to him. We had a good chuckle. But uh, today I listened to him, and he said that he's really sad to see you go. You guys had great things going on together. You were friends for a long time. Can you touch a little bit on your relationship and what it meant? Just to, maybe, maybe you might have heard him, maybe you didn't, but just to hear him say goodbye to you and how tough it might be. Mm, yeah, well, it's, it's obviously tough. Um... You know, there's a lot of guys that have been there the whole time with me. And, uh, you know, all, all of them are great guys. You know, I was uh, and still I'm really close with Nikki and, uh, you know, being roommates for, for three years and uh, spending a lot of time with him off the ice. It's it's tough. But um, like he, like he said, it's this is the business side side of hockey. These things happen, um, you know, but. It's uh, yeah, it's it's a kind of a sad day, but still, I'm I'm really excited that uh, you know I'll I'll have I'll have a new opportunity in Columbus, and uh, I'll have uh, friends friends and brothers for life from uh, from the Jets. Thanks, Patrick. Next, we'll go to Jeff Swoboda, Jackets Insider. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, thanks, Todd. Uh, thanks for doing this, Patrick. Uh, Tort said that he talked to you earlier today and he seemed very excited about just that conversation and not going into it too detailed, but just your first thoughts on kind of your, uh, the discussion you had with him and anybody else that you maybe had a chance to talk to so far from the Jackets. Um, yeah, I had, uh, had some good talks, you know, obviously talked to Yarmo and, uh, Torts and had a, had a good talk, you know, kind of didn't, didn't talk too much, too much yet. Um, just kind of ex- a little bit of ex- expectations and how how excited the both parties are for me, me to arrive to Columbus. Um, you know, I was just expressing how uh, how happy I am I am to be uh, be a Blue Jacket now, and uh, you know, I think he they're they're all been really excited to have me on board and uh, kind of. Just excited to get uh, get the things going and finally gonna wear that jersey. Next, we'll go to Ken Weeby at Sportsnet. Go ahead, Ken. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, where's your game grown the most, Patrick? And what level do you think you can reach uh, after this move here? Uh, I think like overall, I think you know, coming here four and a half years ago as an 80 year old, I think my game was it's it's night and day the, the, the difference nowadays you know you're well now i'm i'm 22 i've been learning so much about the game how to play the game how to be a be a guy who wins his own battles um and you know there's a lot of a lot of things i still need to improve and 
but I think I'm on a good path, you know, had a good, uh, good fir first game of the season and, uh, you know, I obviously missed the last three, but, um, I'll be, I'll be ready to take the next, next step with, uh, with Columbus. And, uh, I think it'll be, a, it'll be a big one. Just one last one. How do, how do you think you'll be remembered by Jets fans? I know you've been a popular guy for a long time here. Um, well, hopefully as a good guy, uh, I've always, you know, tried to, uh, be myself. And, uh, if, if somebody doesn't like it, then I don't know, it's too bad, but I, I think just being myself, I was always myself with the media, with the fans on the ice. So hopefully, hopefully they'll have good, uh, good things to say about me and, uh, you know, always, always try to be a good guy and, uh, you know, good, good teammates. So hopefully they'll have uh, some good memories of uh, number 29. Next, we'll go back to uh, Brian Hedger to Columbus Dispatch. Go ahead, Hedge. Hey, Patrick, uh, I forgot to tell you earlier, welcome to Columbus and, and thanks for doing this as well. Um, you know, you're coming over here with Jack Roslovic as well. I mean, he's obviously over here, but uh, teammates, what can you tell us about him? What are some of the things that we you know, would like to know about uh, Jack as a player and, uh, you know, getting him here? No, it's great. He's, uh, I think he's, he's a really good player. Um, obviously, we, we haven't seen his best in the NHL, obviously, hopefully he'll, he'll get a bigger role and uh, more opportunities to show his skill set. And he's, he's one of the fastest and like, um, like skaters in, in the league. He has unbelievable hands. He can finish too. I think he's all around good, uh, really good offensive player, obviously for him as for myself too, you know, we got to work on our defensive game. Um, and you know, that's, that's going to come when, when we, you know, get, uh, get more years under our belt. And, uh, but yeah, he'll, he's, he's a really good player and all the, all the Columbus fans are gonna, are gonna love the way he plays. Okay. Next we'll go to Sean Reynolds of Sportsnet. Go ahead, Sean. Hey, Patrick. Uh, one of the interesting things uh, I always thought about you once you came to Winnipeg was your family was such a big part of your life and kind of a big part of Winnipeg. I saw your mom at the mall, saw your dad in Iron Maiden concert. They were always, it was always easy to be able to talk with them. Um, I'm wondering what's their plan and are they going to kind of fit? Do you foresee them fitting into Columbus the same way they fit into Winnipeg? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I came here with with my mom um as, as an 18 year old and uh you know i think they they made it possible for me to uh you know be be successful here uh took care of all the things off the ice so i could just i could just focus on what i'm what i'm doing when i'm out there playing um so the you know that's that was huge sacrifice from them too to uh you know i always had one of my parents here so uh you know, it was a big thing for them to, to, uh, you know, see, see the NHL world and what goes like behind the scenes and stuff. Um, so, um, yeah, they're just happy for me and, uh, you know, excited to, uh, go to Columbus to watch some games and, uh, you know, they have, they have a really great fan base over there and it's always great atmosphere at, at, the, at the rink. So, uh, it'll be a, it'll be a fun one. Okay, we'll take a few more for Patrick. We'll go back to Aaron Port's line with the Athletic. Go ahead, Forty. Thanks, Todd. Patrick, the the upper body injury you have right now is is there a sense that it's it's a minor injury and should be cleared up by the time you're here and able to play, or or what do you know about that? Yeah, I think I I should be uh, should be able to go whenever uh, whenever I uh, I come over. Uh, I think it's nothing. Nothing I would be worried about too much. You know, it's a short season. This kind of stuff happens. Players get injured, but uh, I think it's just something that, um, you know, I don't think we should uh, should worry worry anybody. Okay, we'll go to uh, Ken Weeby at Sportsnet. Go ahead, Ken. I meant to lower my hand. Sorry about that, Todd. Thank no you, Patrick. Worries. Yeah, no problem. We'll go to uh, Mike McIntyre to Winnipeg Free Press, and then I think we have one in finish for Patrick. Go ahead. Mike. Nice. 
Thanks. Yeah, I won't try mine and finish, Patrick. Good. Uh, um, we, we spoke earlier today, I, you probably didn't hear it, but both Blake uh, Wheeler and Paul Maurice spoke, and both of them were candid in, in saying that they do take some responsibility, maybe that things didn't work out here. I just wonder your thoughts on the relationship you had with, with Blake um, and also with Paul just during your tenure here. Um, I think we had a good, uh, good relationship. Um, obviously, you know, I, I don't think we had any negative, um, conversations with Blake. Uh, I think it was usually, usually positive and like, he's a, he's a guy who, you know, leaves everything on the ice. So, he'll, you know, um, I'm the same way. I get frust frustrated a lot and, uh, you know, sometimes say things that I shouldn't say. And, but, um, yeah, I, I think we had a, you know, good, good relationship. Um, and with Paul too, um, you know, he was a good, uh, good coach, you know, he's been coaching for a long time. So he, he knows how to handle players. Um, so I think it was, uh, it was good. Thanks, guys. Now we'll go to Ville Toru. I'm guessing we'll be in Finnish. Go ahead, Ville. Guess? You don't know? Morjesta, <laughs> brother. Tota, sellainen kysymys, että sä olet päästänyt ekaa kertaa niin kun käytännössä joukkueen ykköshyökkääjäksi, jolta odotetaan tietysti myös sen mukaista tulosta, niin mitä sä ajattelet tästä tilanteesta? No, kyllähän se tietysti joka, joka pelaajan unelma. Unelma on kuitenkin olla se äijä, kehen kaikki luottaa ja, ja tuota, toi, jos semmoinen paikka, paikka aukeaa, niin, niin kyllä mä teen, teen kaikkeni, kaikkeni, että koittaa olla sen arvoinen. arvoinen että, tuota, kyllä mä tiedän, että mä oon, mä oon valmis, valmis siihen ja, ja, ja mä oon hyvä, hyvä pelaaja, niin tuota, kyllä se on hieno, hieno mahdo, mahdollisuus, mahdollisuus itselle, minkä, minkä on sit, toivottavasti pystyy, pystyy käyttämään. Käyttää, hyvällä pelaamisella ja kuitenkin hommia tehnyt niin hyvin, niin, niin tuota, toivottavasti saisi sen, sais sen käytettyä ja olta, olla semmoinen keulakuva ja keulahahmo tuolle joukkueelle ja näyttää, näyttää osaamista jäällä sitten ja, ja tuota, näyttää esimerkkiä. Yes, kiitos. Thank you. Kiitos.